over to you, Carden. As you can see, this one here in the exam would say, study the cartoon below and answer the questions that follow. Uh, it's one of the latest cartoons that um, we've had in, the, in our past papers, because this paper is 2019 paper last year. Um, it says here, H, uh, it looks like I have to revise the medium term expenditure framework. And you know, this is done in uh, every October. And this one here is a three year rolling budget. Okay, you see some questions with regards to this. And uh, the person who's saying that is Tito Mboweni. And uh, why? He's the Minister of Finance and he's the one who is responsible for this um, uh, uh, policy. And then we see here ESCOM, uh, it's a public company. Oh, sorry, I'm saying a public, it's a state owned company. So it's, uh, it belongs to the government of South Africa. And um, it says ESCOM 20, uh, 2019 budget. Okay, so he's holding the budget here and uh, it looks like uh, these uh, state-owned companies are a big problem. Look at the size of the ESCOM budget and this is the budget for the entire country. So he's walking to parliament to present the medium term expenditure framework. All right, so let's see what questions come. Name any uh, one state-owned company in the country. All right, we have South African Airways. Uh, you know, a lot of problems with this. ESCOM, Transnet, Post Office, South African Express, and Denel. All right, you can uh, have, I think there are about 15, if I'm not mistaken. What is the current VAT rate in South Africa? It is 15% it was increased from 14 percent so if you are using a textbook uh, an old one and i remember the minister of finance then was um malusi gigaba uh, he's the one who adjusted from who adjusted it from 14 percent to 15 percent so if you have an old textbook it might say 14 percent just take note Currently, it's 15%. And if you're watching it, th this video in the future, it might have changed as well. So you just need to be relevant. All right, briefly describe the, the term medium term expenditure framework. Uh, I've done it already. Oh, the medium term budget policy statement. Uh, the medium term budget policy statement adjusts to changes in the economy since the main budget so as we all know the main budget is presented in february and uh, so these adjustments can be made uh, in october when the when this budget here is uh, being presented so it is based on the medium term expenditure framework and shares um, the developments in public policy that will shape the next and forthcoming budgets uh, so it's a three-year rolling budget thing like that explain the relationship between the main budget and the medium term expenditure framework the main budget is guided by the medium term expenditure framework uh, like you see here he's talking about adjusting it and that means that will affect the next budget as in the budget for the uh, following year all right, so since this was 2019, uh, it meant it's it would affect the budget for 2020. And uh, right now we're in September. Um, so next month, uh, the, the, the medium term expenditure framework will be presented by Tito Mboen. All right, so the main budget, like I said, is guided by the medium term expenditure framework, which estimates income and expenditure for a three year period. And the budget that is presented in uh, February is a budget for one year, uh, one fiscal year, which runs from the 1st of April to the 31st of March every year. All right, so that's why we say we call it a 2020-21 budget or 2019-20 budget because it runs from the 1st of April. Uh, okay, the, the budget pre is presented in February and that budget will be used from the 1st of april until the 21st the the, the 20, 31st of march the following year all right so uh, from the time the minister presents it uh, you see it's presented in february then we have um 
March. So the whole of March, uh, if there are any changes that have to be made, yes, it gives us that time to, you know, make changes. Like, for instance, if I say, look, the, the, the VAT rate was adjusted. And so you can then wake up in the morning and you start buying goods and already things are 15%. So it gives you more than a month to make adjustments to shops like they have to you know they're using software so they need time to adjust their uh, their softwares to, to 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 make it calculate the new vat rate uh, i think you can see it will need that time but right. what can the government do to solve the current financial challenges of state-owned enterprises and uh, it looks like many of them have problems right um the, the the current financial um challenges can be solved by let's have a look ensuring that fiscal and monetary management is improved so this will be an improvement on tito Mboweni side and an improvement on uh, let's say Jahanyaho's side that is the um, monetary policy committee and the ministry of finance both must uh, make sure they improve their management of these two policies uh the next point i have here is ensuring that uh, proper human capital is correctly sourced or obtained that means uh the people that are going to be working um you know uh, have to be correctly and um correctly sourced and obtained that means hiring them uh and and also training them strengthening the internal or external audit control systems uh, changing management to ensure accountability and we all know that accountability is one of the uh, major problems that government has don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel also hit the notification bell for you to get notified every time we post new content to our channel we are also giving away the distinction bound student t-shirts to people who buy more than 10 books at the moment we have the following textbooks economics grade 10 11 and 12 plus business studies grades 11 and 12. we are looking forward to adding more books to our catalog remember our books come in two versions complete and no answers versions complete versions have answers and no answers versions do not thank you so much for your support see you in the next video god bless